students myself cma padmaja buzruk i will discuss accounts of joint stock companies please go to study note number 1 accounting of shares and debentures i will explain few illustrations illustration 8 priyanka industries limited has an authorized capital of rupees 2 lakhs divided into shares of rupees 100 each so authorized capital is 2000 shares of rupees 100 which makes rupees 2 lakhs of this 600 shares were issued as fully paid for payment of machinery purchased from z limited they have purchased machinery from z limited and instead of paying cash they have issued 600 fully paid shares 800 shares were subscribed for by the public and during the first year 50 per share was called up payable as 20 on application 10 on allotment 10 on first call and 10 on second call so out of 100 they have called just 50 rupees per share which is payable on four installments 20 on application and on remaining three installment rupees 10 each the amounts received in respect of these shares were as follows on 600 shares full amount called up that is on 600 shares they have received entire amount called up that is 50 rupees on 125 shares 40 per share they have received that means they have not received final call of rupees 10 on 50 shares they have received 30 per share that means they have not received first call and final call rupees 10 each on 25 shares they have received just 20 per share that means they have just received application money and they have not received allotment first call and final call rupees 10 each the directors forfeited the 75 shares on which less than 40 per share had been paid see on 50 shares 30 is received on 25 shares 20 is received so on this 50 plus 25 75 shares less than 40 rupees has been paid so less than 40 rupees is received by company so these 75 shares directors have forfeited you are required to give journal entries recording the above transactions including cash transactions and show how the share capital would appear in the balance sheet of the company in accordance with part 1 of schedule 3 of companies act now just now we have seen on 600 shares they have received entire 50 rupees per share so there is no default on 125 shares 40 per share has been received so there is default on final call of rupees 10 on 50 shares 30 per share has been received so there is default on first call rupees 10 final call rupees 10 on 25 shares they have received only application money rupees 20 so there is default that is they have not received on 25 shares allotment money first call money and final call money rupees 10 each that is in all total 30 rupees they have not received allotment money was not received on 25 shares see here on 25 shares allotment money was not received first call money was not received on 25 plus 50 75 shares 25 plus 50 they have not received first call on 75 shares and final call money was not received on 25 plus 50 plus 125 which is equal to 200 shares final call final call final call not received on 25 plus 50 plus 125 in all 200 shares they have not received final call money now we'll see journal entries 600 shares they have issued as fully paid for purchasing machinery from z limited so the journal entry for this is machinery account debit to z limited 60000 600 into 100 
and Z Limited to share capital 60,000. If you see Z Limited 1 debit and 1 credit, net effect is machinery account debit to share capital 60,000. Then 800 shares they have issued and they have called up 50 per share, 20 on application and allotment first call and final call 10 each. 20 rupees per application they have received on 800 applications. So bank account debit to share application 16,800 into 20 and share application to share capital 16,000. Next is allotment money due at the rate of 10 share allotment to share capital 800 into 10 bank account debit 775 into 10 call scenarios account debit 25 into 10 to share allotment 800 into 10 out of 800 shares they have not received allotment money on 25 shares that means they have received allotment money on 800 minus 25 775 shares whichever is not received gets transferred to call scene arrears account next entry is to show first call money due share first call account debit to share capital 800 into 10 first call they have not received on 75 shares that means they have received on 800 minus 75 on 725 shares so bank account debit 725 into 10 7250 call scenarios account debit 75 into 10 750 to share first call 8000 so the amount which is not received on first call gets transferred to call in arrears account next is second call money due at the rate of 10 on 800 shares share second call to share capital 8000 they have not received second call on 200 shares that means they have received on 800 minus 200 600 shares bank account debit 600 into 10 6000 call scenarios account debit 200 into 10 2000 to share second call 8000 share second call one debit one credit it is getting closed these 75 shares on which less than 40 rupees is received they have forfeited this so entry for forfeiture share capital account debit 75 into 50 3750 number of shares forfeited are 75 amount called up is 50 to forfeited shares account on 50 shares they have received 30 rupees and on 25 shares they have received just 20 rupees application money so 50 into 30 plus 25 into 20 is received on these 75 forfeited shares 2000 they have received which gets transferred to forfeited shares account two call scenarios money which they have not received on 50 shares they have received 30 means they have not received 20 on 25 shares they have received 20 means they have not received 30 this is printing mistake just change it to 50 into 20 plus 25 into 30 so calls in areas 1750 now they have asked you to prepare extracts of balance sheet for that you need to prepare notes we will see the notes authorized capital is given 2000 equity shares of 100 which is 2 lakhs issued and subscribed capital 1400 shares of 100 each 600 shares they have issued because they have purchased machinery to Z limited so this 600 plus 800 shares they have issued to public total 1400 shares of 100 each this is issued and subscribed capital now here they have given this as subscribed capital but it is not correct subscribed and issued is same but this is paid up capital 600 shares of 100 each 60,000 which is issued to Z limited for purchase of machinery 
सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव शेयर्स ऑफ हंड्रेड इच फिफ्टी पेड वाई सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव आउट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड शेयर्स सेवेंटी फाइव शेयर्स दे हैव फोर फीटेड सो एट हंड्रेड माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव शेयर्स दे हैव आउट ऑफ दैट ओनली फिफ्टी इज कॉल्ड थर्टी सिक्स टू फिफ्टी टोटल ऑफ दिस इज नाइंटी सिक्स टू फिफ्टी लेस कॉल्स अनपेड ऑन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव शेयर्स फाइनल कॉल इज ड्यू सो इट इज टू बी डिडक्टेड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू टेन नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड इन दिस यू आर सपोज टू एड फोर फीटेड शेयर्स जस्ट नाउ वी हैव पास द एंट्री फॉर फोर फीचर ऑफ शेयर्स अमाउंट रिसीव्ड ऑन फोर फीटेड शेयर्स इज टू थाउजेंड ऑन फिफ्टी शेयर्स दे हैव रिसीव्ड थर्टी एंड ऑन ट्वेंटी फाइव शेयर्स दे हैव रिसीव्ड ट्वेंटी टोटल रिसीव्ड इज टू थाउजेंड so this 97000 paid up capital you have to show in balance sheet tangible assets machinery 60000 machinery they have purchased by issuing 600 shares of 100 this is note number 2 note number 3 cash and cash equivalent 37000 16000 they have received on application 7750 on allotment 7250 on first call and 6000 on final call total amount received is 37000 now this is how extract of balance sheet is to be shown equity and liability below that shareholders funds share capital note number 1 we have seen paid up capital 97000 nothing else is there so total is 97000 assets this is vertical format of balance sheet as per companies act 2030 assets non current assets fixed assets you have tangible assets note number 2 60000 current assets cash and cash equivalent note number 3 we have just now seen 37000 60 plus 37 is 97000 so total of equity and liability matches with total of assets now we'll go to next question illustration 9 SOS Limited issued a prospectus inviting application for 6000 shares of 10 each at a premium of 2 per share payable as follows on application rupees 2 per share and allotment rupees 5 per share including premium premium is rupees 2 so this 5 is 3 plus 2 3 would go to capital 2 would go to securities premium on first call 3 per share and on second and final call 2 per share 2 plus 5 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 2 12 issue price is 12 10 plus 2 out of that 2 would go to securities premium and 10 would go to share capital applications were received for 9000 shares an allotment was made pro rata to the applicants of 7500 shares remaining applicants were refused allotment issued capital is 6000 they have received 9000 applications to 7500 applicants they have issued 6000 shares and remaining applications that is 9000 minus 7500 remaining is 1500 they have refused allotment and returned the money back money overpaid on application was applied towards some due on allotment d to whom 100 shares were allotted failed to pay allotment money and on his subsequent failure to pay final first call sorry his shares were forfeited so d has failed to pay allotment money as well as first call money and after first call his shares were forfeited Z, the holder of 200 shares, failed to pay both the calls. Z was having 200 shares. He has not paid first call as well as final call, and his shares were forfeited after second and final call. Of the shares forfeited, 200 shares were to sold to C, credited as fully paid for eight rupees fifty paisa per share. The whole of these shares being included. so totally how many shares are forfeited 100 of these shares they have forfeited after first call 
200 of Z shares they have forfeited after second and final call. Totally 300 shares they have forfeited. Out of that, 200 shares forfeited shares they have reissued at 8 rupees 50 paisa. So entire shares, 100 shares forfeited shares of D they have reissued, and out of 200 forfeited shares of Z, 100 shares they have reissued. So 100 of D and 100 of Z, totally 200 forfeited shares they have reissued at 8.50 per share. Give journal entries recording the above transaction. Issued capital 6000 shares at 10 plus 2, 10 would go to capital, share capital, 2 would go to securities premium account. Payable on application rupees 2, allotment 3 plus 2. There is default on 100 shares. D has not paid allotment money. First call rupees 3. There is default. D has not paid first call on 100 shares. Z has not paid first call on 200 shares. So on first call, total default is on 300 shares. So after first call, D's 100 shares they have forfeited. Final call is rupees 2. Z's default on 200 shares because D's shares they have already forfeited. After final call, Z's shares are also forfeited. Applications received are 9000. So application money received is 9000 into 2, 18000. 7500 applicants were allotted. 6000 shares ratio is 5 is to 4 and 1500 applications are rejected so 1500 into 2 3000 is refunded back 7500 applicants allotted 6000 shares on 7500 applications they have received 15000 rupees but required on application for issued capital is 6000 into 2 is 12000. So 15000 minus 12000, 3000 will get adjusted towards allotment. Bank account debit to share application. They have received 9000 applications. Along with this, they have received 2 rupees per application. Bank to share application 18000. Equity share application account debit 18,000 to share capital 12,000, 6,000 into 2 because issued capital is 6,000. To bank 3,000, 1,500 applications are rejected and amount is refunded 1,500 into 2. To share allotment 3,000 just now we have seen 15,000 they have received on 7,500 applications but shares allotted are only 6,000 so excess 3,000 get, gets adjusted towards share allotment. Next entry is to show allotment money due. Share allotment account debit 30,000 to share capital 18,000 to securities premium 12,000. 3 plus 2 we have seen 3 would go to capital and 2 would go to securities premium. Important note, D has been allotted 100 shares. That means he would have applied for 125 shares. We have seen the ratio. If a person applies for 5 shares, he gets 4 shares. Ratio is 5 is to 4. For 7500 applicants, they have allotted 6000 shares. So D has been allotted 100 shares means he would have applied for 125 shares. Along with 125 applications he would have paid 125 into 2, 250 rupees. But what was due on application? Only 200 because he has been allotted 100 shares. 100 into 2 was due on application. So excess he has paid with application is rupees 50, 250 minus 200. Now what is allotment money due on these 100 shares which they have allotted to D? 100 into 5, 500. But out of that 50 he has paid with application. So net amount due on allotment by D is 500 minus 50, 450. Has he paid this? No. He has not paid 450. There is default. Now we will see next entry. 
allotment money received bank account debit 26550 30000 was due on allotment out of that 3000 was received with application and 450 is d's default so received is 26550 calls in arrears debit 450 just now we have seen due on allotment from d which is not received to share allotment 27000 share allotment credit 27000 in this entry and in the application entry you have credited 3000 to allotment so allotment 30000 debit 30000 credit first call money due share first call debit 18000 to share capital 18000 bank account debit 5700 into 3 why because there is default in first call 100 shares of D and again 200 shares of see here first call D's default on 100 shares Z's default on 200 shares so on first call total default is on 300 shares So 6000 minus 300 on 5700 shares they have received money at the rate of 3. So bank account debit 17100, call scenarios account debit 900, 300 into 3 to share first call. Share first call gets closed here. After first call and before final call they have forfeited 100 shares on which D has not paid allotment and first call money. Share capital account debit 800. What is the amount they have called up? Application, allotment and first call. They have not made final call. So application plus allotment plus first call. If you add it is 8 rupees. Application 2, allotment 3 first call 3 2 plus 3 plus 3 is 8 share capital account debit 100 into 8 securities premium account debit 100 into 2 you have to debit securities premium account in forfeiture entry because he has not paid securities premium if securities premium is not paid then and then only securities premium account would appear in forfeiture entry to forfeited shares account 250 that is amount received from D is 250 he has applied for 125 shares and 125 into 2 250 he has paid to call scenarios 750 450 is due on allotment and 300 is due on first call 100 into 3 is 300 and actually due on allotment was 500 but 50 he paid with application so net due was 450. So whatever he has not paid will get transferred to calls in arrears account. Next entry is to show final call due. Share final call account debit to share capital 11800 5900 into 2 because 100 shares are forfeited. So call is due only on 6000 minus 100, 5900 shares. There is default on 200 shares by Z. So they have not received on 5900 shares but on 5700 shares. So bank account debit 5700 into 2, 11400. Calls in arrears account debit 400, 200 into 2 on 200 shares final call has not been received to share final call 11800 share final call gets closed here 11800 debit 11800 credit now they have forfeited z's share share capital account debit 2000 number of shares forfeited 200 into amount called up 10 application allotment first call and final call 
securities premium account won't come in this forfeiture entry because securities premium has been paid by Mr. Z whose shares have been forfeited. To forfeited shares account 1000, to call scenarios 1000. Forfeited shares account is amount received from defaulter and call sin areas amount not received. They have not received on first call as well as they have not received on final call whereas they have received on application as well as allotment. So 2 on application and 3 on allotment, 2 plus 3, 5 they have received, 3 on first call and 2 on final call, 3 plus 2, 5 they have not received which gets transferred to calls in arrears account. Share capital account debit 2200 into 10 to forfeited shares they have received application and allotment 5 rupees to call in arrears they have not received first call and final call 5 rupees 200 into 5 in both the cases. Out of these forfeited shares, they have reissued 200 shares at 8 rupees 50 paisa. Bank account debit 200 into 8 rupees 50 paisa is 1700. Forfeited shares account debit 300. This is discount on reissue of forfeited shares. Face value is 10 minus 8 rupees 50 paisa is 1 rupee 50 paisa into 200 is 300. To share capital account 200 into 10, 2000. Forfeited shares to capital reserve 450. How this amount is to be calculated that I will let you know. They have forfeited entire forfeited shares of Z they have reissued. Sorry, these entire 100 forfeited shares they have reissued. But Z's only 100 shares out of 200 shares they have reissued. So if you go through the journal entry of forfeiture of these shares, you will find 250 to the credit of forfeited shares account in the journal entry where you have forfeited Z's share. In the forfeiture entry of D's share, I will show you, see here, 250. This is the entire 100 shares of D they have reissued. So this forfeited shares account 250. Whereas Z's forfeited shares account is having 1000. 200 shares they have forfeited but 100 only are reissued. So for 200 it is 1000, for 100 it is 500. So 250 plus 500, this is D's, this is Z's minus 300 debit to forfeited shares account net balance is 450 which gets transferred to capital reserve so in this particular video i have explained you various illustrations thank you